In this video, I'm going to talk about um, what is the use of shipping point determination at storage location level. So this is uh, one of the good interview questions and uh, even you can understand what kind of configuration we do uh, for the shipping point determination at the storage location level. This will be helpful during STO or during sales process. So what is exactly useful? For example, if you think in that way, okay. So what is the useful? Let's take it. it is uh, located. Okay, this one is the plan. Plan GK P1. So for this much plant, they have a multiple storage locations, and it is bigger also. You can see they have multiple storage locations. So there are multiple storage locations. You can say S log FG01, S log RM01, S log maybe some spare parts 01. They have three locations which are taking care about the FG and uh, raw material. So now the shipping point, each one have one shipping point. Shipping point, maybe. I will use SP just for uh, you can understand, I believe. Shipping point zero zero one and uh, shipping point zero zero two, shipping point zero zero three. Maybe I think we will use shipping point spare parts RM01 FG01. Just for our understanding only. So they have uh, three shipping points. Okay. So what is the benefit, what is the utilization? For example, the shipping point and the derive, the truck person can easily identify from where the goods are shipping. For example, raw materials, uh, finished goods will have a fixed kind of a size, their products and all. So they may use um, forklift. But here, raw materials are different, different kind of sizes, crane, maybe some movers. Okay, so spare parts are all small, small spare parts. So maybe directly human or uh, any small carriers. Okay, just what I'm telling that one, those kind of equipments are available during the shipment area, the shipping area. And uh, you can define based on the finished goods sales order you're sending, the shipping point can be determined. The truck driver, uh, the container, those things can come to that place. Okay, the shipping, can be done at the different different locations wise. If your plant has a one location, physical location where you have, we are doing all kind of activities, you may not see that importance of uh, storage location specific shipping point determination, shipping or receiving point, whatever you are going to do it. But when you have a plant, huge scale of plant and it has multiple storage locations to do the multiple activities at that point of time, to navigate properly to the truck driver or the container driver, whoever, to, to navigate to the exact place, that will be helpful. Another one is that uh, these kind of a carriers and all they can plan accordingly what kind of equipments are required during the shipping of the materials based on the size, characteristics, uh, the condition and all the materials, liquids and all when they have to, some tin carriers, they need to use it. If they're using some powders, they have to some evacuation also, the powder should not just spill too much. So these all kind of equipments will be available in those shipping points and they also will navigate and to identify the exact shipping points. That's the reason the storage location specific uh, shipping points will be used. But if you are you're having uh, the physical location is only one and it's not that bigger, then you don't, see the significance okay so that's about the business requirement and coming to the configuration so i explained in multiple videos related to in uh, sto and all so let us check it this uh, all of us know that uh, where we are doing the shipping point configuration right 
So the shipping point uh, will be done by SD consultant then in the real time. Ideal, it's a LE, logistic execution. We have to do the defined shipping point. Okay. Generally, what we do, uh, directly compare defined, we copy the uh, shipping point also. We can copy from the existing shipping point. So once you have done the shipping point, uh, it's it's a four digit one. Generally, we follow the plant and some combination of naming. So then um, in the assignment, the shipping points will be assigned to the plant. Okay. In the configuration, the main enterprise structure configuration, you are going to assign the shipping point only to the plant, but not to the storage location. But the determining the shipping point based on the storage location, we are going to do in the main configuration. So we have done this. Enterprise structure, then we are going to normal configuration. Where is the logistics execution shipping? Basic shipping functions. Here we have a shipping point and goods receiving point determination. Shipping point and goods receiving point. What's the difference? Shipping point will take care about the outbound during outbound delivery. You see the shipping point related details, whether it is STO or sales order related. Goods receiving point will be coming in the point of inbound delivery. So here the setup storage location dependent shipping point determination. You can see here setup storage location specific. So here we have this uh, assigned shipping points according to the storage location. Based on the shipping conditions, loading group combination, plant, storage location combination, you are going to give the primary shipping point and secondary third, you can give the multiple things. This is the configuration related to storage location specific. For example, if I want to do, go to new entries, 01, 01 standard shipping conditions, loading group 001, Plant MS twelve and storage location FG zero one. Okay, just for testing, I will take some. This is the way how you need to configure storage location specific shipping point. Goods receiving points for inbound deliveries, the similar way. So how we are going to give the um, shipping point, plant, storage location, shipping point level, we are going to maintain it. This assigned shipping points will be available for the at the plant level. Just now I was mentioning, right? Assigned shipping points will be mostly we use it because uh, shipping conditions, loading group, plant, and for that three combination, we are going to maintain the proper shipping point. If it is storage location specific, we use this configuration, assigned shipping points according to the storage location. I hope you got this uh, configuration. You can see the similar kind of a configuration in our uh, STO also. So when we go to material management, purchasing, purchase orders, set up STO, set up stock transport order. Here you can see, set up stock transfer between storage locations. Here we have uh, defined shipping data for stock transfers between storage locations. Okay, so this is about the STO specific, how you are going to define. Okay, so for example, NS12, NS12 is my plant, okay. So NS12 is my sales organization, distribution channel, 
answer zero one shipping point we are going to double zero one enter select go to storage location level here i can maintain the uh what are the details at the storage location level we can maintain it so partner storage location sales org supplier customer it's all we have a defined shipping data for plants right the same configuration we need to maintain here see for example this is the one which most of us they were when you do the uh, stock transport order between plants we have to maintain this configuration where we are going to maintain the customer details and sales details okay so customer details are mandatory if you want to receive sales details are mandatory if you want to send the similar configuration is available here define shipping data see here define shipping data for plants here define shipping data for stock transport so this is about the uh, how you are going to determine the shipping point and related configurations. I hope you got a clarity that what is the benefit of having shipping point determination at the storage location level. You can watch the video and you can practice in your system and uh, check it whether you maintain at the storage location level, maintain shipping point A plant level maintain shipping point B and then you maintain uh, you create an STO or you can create a sales order and uh, how the shipping point is being determined you can easily understand that the storage location specific shipping point will be given the top priority.